ho, it's Sexy DeMille with a brand new video. Welcome everybody to another video on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. In today's video, it's more of just a sit down and talk sort of video. I just want to let you guys know what's going to be going on with this channel, what's going to be going on with videos, etc. Basically, just what's going to be happening in the future. But before we get into that, just want to mention that the gameplay in the background is a gameplay that I managed to get last night on stream, and it is a crazy fucking game. I went 81 and 2. Now, of course, I wasn't sniping, but I did decide to pull out a red gun, and we're gonna be talking a little bit more in this video on why I was using a red gun and all that stuff, and all the stuff to do with sniping, but I managed to go 81 and 2, decided to save the gameplay, I did mute my commentary just because I didn't want it to overlap with what I'm talking about today, but you guys will still be able to hear, like, the gameplay audio and stuff like that, but anyway, decided to put that in the background, hopefully you guys find that entertaining, it was a pretty insane gameplay, and I figured it was appropriate to put behind what I'm talking about today. And just as a side note, depending on how long I talk about this topic in today's video, I may add just some extra gameplay towards the end of the video of some blackout with me and Delta, but that is only if I talk a little bit too much in this video. But without further ado, let's get into today's topic. And I don't really know where exactly to start this topic. I don't know where exactly I want to begin, but let's First of all, get into why I was red gunning in this video. I mentioned this on stream to a few people who are watching, but I figured I will make a video about it in the future, and so... I don't know, I, I just felt like today was a perfect day to talk about it. Which, by the way, today was supposed to be Q&A day, but I'm a relevant YouTuber and I didn't get enough questions, so if you guys want me to do another Ask Demio, make sure you guys leave questions because I don't really have enough. Right now, I think I have like four or five or something like that. So if you guys want another Ask Demio episode or whatever, well, I'm gonna need questions. So make sure you guys leave your questions in the comment of this video and the last Demio Q&A video. I don't fucking know, just anywhere. First thing I wanna mention is that I want to start experimenting a little bit on this channel. I want to experiment with different types of content because a lot of my passions over the years, ever since I started this YouTube channel, a lot of things have changed. I remember when I first started this channel, I started with gameplays and commentaries, and I would go out and I would do as well as I could in Call of Duty and upload those gameplays, and uh, people like that. And I also used to do, like, walkthroughs or, you know, like, series and stuff like that, like the Minecraft series, etc. And then slowly over time, I started transitioning over to different types of content, such as, like, more funny type of videos, cut commentaries and stuff like that, and I'm not going to stop those videos. I still feel like I'm going to upload cut commentaries a lot of the time if I have something to talk about I feel like cut commentaries are just the best way for me to talk about them outside of like probably commentary style videos like I'm doing right now and the reason I liked cut commentary videos is because I didn't have to go out of my way to get gameplay say for example if I was busy with school or I just didn't want to play video games I could instead just talk about something and that style of approaching content has a lot of benefits if I don't want to get gameplays well then I could have just made commentaries the reason I I made gameplays was because I didn't feel like I was funny. I just uploaded me doing really well in Call of Duty. But over time, me trying to be entertaining and stuff like that, there are days where I just don't have anything to talk about. There are times where I feel like I, I just wish I could sit down and just fucking play a video game and not have to worry about anything. And that's why I love live streaming so much. It's because if I don't feel like talking in my streams, if I just feel like playing a video game and doing really well... That will be entertaining too. People will like to watch me do really well in the video game. But when it comes to YouTube and uploading videos, I don't upload gameplays anymore. I don't upload videos of me doing really well. And with the fact that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 came out like, I don't know, just just almost two months ago, I'd say at this point. With that being the case, and sometimes I don't have topics to talk about. Sometimes I don't really know what to make a video on, but I really like Black Ops 4. And I find myself, when I'm uploading videos that are forced, that I don't have a topic to talk about, so I just come up with something to talk about, I find myself just not happy with my videos. I find myself not happy with what I'm doing. I'm forcing a 
a topic out when I would much rather just sit there and play Call of Duty, do really well in the video game. I fucking love that. I miss doing that. I miss just being able to sit down and just be good at a video game. And so I thought to myself that I should probably just switch content in and out. I'm not saying that I'm gonna go months uploading gameplays and then I'd go back to uploading cut commentaries for months. I'm just saying like literally like every single upload could be different. One upload could be just a really good gameplay and then one upload could be me talking about stuff and I feel like that would be a good change in and out. Um, in my streams I would probably implement a little bit of the two because generally in my streams I try to talk and I try to play you know when I'm not in a lobby when I'm not in a game I'll obviously talk to you guys and you know I'll read chat and discuss and all that stuff but whenever I'm actually in game I like to focus I like to really pay attention on the game and do pretty well and that's what happened yesterday on stream I ended up getting a blackout win I got multiple great gameplays this being one of them and it was just really awesome and I had such a great time even though I don't have many viewers I don't have a lot of people watching me in my streams and stuff like that just the fact that I can enjoy myself anyway even without looking at my viewer count just sitting there playing a video game talking about whatever's on my mind and doing really well and being able to entertain you guys with the fact that I'm doing so well in game was really cool I really liked that another reason why I want to start moving more towards gameplay videos and when I'm talking about gameplay videos I'm not just talking about multiplayer on Call of Duty Black Ops 4, I'm also talking about Blackout. I played Blackout yesterday and I had so much fun. I I seriously haven't really touched Blackout that much ever since this game came out. I've only played it a little bit, but ever since I started playing it, oh my god, it is some of the best fun I've had in Call of Duty in so long and I want to do that. I want to start playing and getting better as a player and I'm genuinely considering becoming a competitive player. And that might sound really different to you guys because I have never ever played competitively like really really seriously obviously I've went into league play before with friends and stuff like that but I've never really stuck to it and tried to push to be the best player that there is I've never really done that but over time as I play video games more and more and my passions change I notice that I like to compete I love beating other people. I love being the best player I can possibly be. I love that shit. That's why winning a game of Blackout, I have two wins on Blackout so far. I have won one game solo, I believe, and that was on stream, and then I won another game, a duo, with Delta, which happened yesterday on stream. That was seriously one of the most amazing feelings, knowing that I went up against like 80 other players, at least 80 other players, and I was the one who prevailed on top. I was the one who won that game and did the best. I like that shit. I love being competitive. And that is a huge change for me because previously I didn't really give a shit about being the best. I just wanted to have fun, you know, hit some sniper clips here and there and stuff like that. You know, I didn't really care too much about, you know, playing league play and trying to climb up the ranks. But I've noticed, especially in the last, I'd say about six months I really want to start red gunning again I really want to play league play I want to play blackout I want to be one of the best players that has ever been known to call of duty and that sounds fucking crazy that sounds like I'm getting way ahead of myself but I want to do it as soon as league play starts up on call of duty black ops 4 I just want to play that I want to play competitively I want to play game battles I want to put money on the line and I want to fucking win I want to be one of the best players in the game. If I can't be the best player in the game, I want to be one of the best. And I want people to look at me and know that I am one of the best players. Not because of pride or anything like that, but I want to make a name for myself because I am good at a video game. I want to be what I want to be for Call of Duty what Ninja is for Fortnite. That's basically what I want to be. Now, this also brings up a different discussion. And that is, will I be giving up sniping permanently? I won't be giving up sniping permanently. I will still be sniping. However, it's not going to be as often because obviously I need to practice. I need to pull out red guns. I need to pull out the best weapons possible. If I'm playing Blackout, I might not always get a sniper. However, when I am playing Blackout and I find a Paladin or a Koshka, I always fucking use that thing. I love getting like super distant snipes. I've been doing that a lot recently on my streams. 
and people love that shit. When I hit snipes that are super far away in Blackout, because it's more difficult, there's bullet drop, there's uh, bullet speed, like it's a projectile and stuff like that, that shit is really entertaining to watch. So, obviously in Blackout, if I find a sniper, I'm fucking using that thing to its advantages. I'm gonna be going at long ranges, I'm gonna be hitting some crazy shots. When it comes to public matches, once League Play comes out, I think I will use public matches more for sniping. Obviously, sometimes I will pull out a red gun just to destroy people, just to have fun and you know get gameplays and stuff because if I want to start uploading gameplays obviously I will need to go out and get them however I will try and throw in some sniping gameplays if I can just get really good at sniping and go out for gameplay sniping well then I'll stick to that but I really want to start playing competitive if league play comes out and when league play comes out I want to you know I would still like to snipe in competitive I'd still love to snipe in league play I would obviously you know put a paladin on my class or something like that as a secondary and maybe just try and make a name for myself as being like the best competitive sniper or something like that. I still want to do something with sniping, but in terms of hitting clips, I don't really know if that's where I want to go. I feel like I want to be more focused on being a good player rather than being good at hitting clips. I just want to release really good gameplays for you guys and just make a name for myself as being a fucking god at Call of Duty. That's what I really want to do. I want to start being a lot more competitive and pushing myself to be the best player I can possibly be. And a huge reason why I want to make a lot of these changes is because I won't be uploading on this channel forever. I don't know how long more I am going to be uploading on this channel, but I am going to be making a new channel. Don't worry about when it's going to happen because when it happens, when I make a new channel, Everybody will know about it. It will be on my Twitter. It'll be on my Instagram I will upload a final video onto this channel telling you guys what my new channel is linking it in the description So don't worry about the fact that I'm gonna have a new channel that might be in the near future That might be in the distant future But right now what I'm working on is getting a graphics designer to make me my own brand my own logo my own overlay My own intro my own outro screen like some really high quality professional shit I'm in contact with a graphics designer right now. Actually. I got a response Response from one of them I found out what their commission was and yes it is pretty pricey but I just have to pay it once and then after that we have some good quality stuff on my channel and that's what I really want I know it is a bit pricey but it's definitely going to be worth it and when I decide to make that new channel I want to start implementing a lot of these changes I want to start going balls to the wall competitive Call of Duty, I want to be playing League Play a lot, I'll be doing that a lot on stream, probably be playing Blackout a lot more on stream as well and trying to go out for those wins and just really be the best player I can possibly be. Just set my mind on one task and go out and achieve it while still being able to entertain you guys because as much as I love competing and all that stuff, I still love making content, I still love streaming, I, I seriously cannot give up something like this. I can't give up making videos and streaming just to play competitively. I don't really want to do that, I don't feel like that would be a good decision whatsoever, and I don't feel comfortable with that decision anyway. I wouldn't want to do that. Once I make that new channel, I'll be going full steam ahead with the changes. I will obviously still be uploading like commentaries and cutcom style videos and entertaining videos once in a while. For sure, I'll still be doing that. However, there will also be like gameplays and stuff, you know, me doing really well in multiplayer, me getting insane gameplays on Blackout. And on my streams, it will start being more competitive based. It won't be as much, you know, sniping and going out for clips, but in Instead, it will be me playing league play, trying to climb up the ranks to be the best player I can possibly be, and then getting wins in Blackout and stuff like that. A huge advantage to this that you guys might not think of is this could actually increase the frequency of videos that I put out as well, because if I'm getting gameplays and I'm playing really well, I can stack those videos up like in the background behind the scenes and you guys don't know about them. And if I have like 10 gameplays ready to go, that means 10 days of just straight uploading and that might not even be 10 days that could be like 15 days because obviously I'm not going to upload 10 days in a row just straight gameplays obviously I'm going to throw in a cut commentary here and there I could start transitioning over to daily uploading again which is something that I really want to do. It's something that's been on my mind a lot recently. So this channel right here that I'm uploading on right now, it's going to be a lot more experimental. I'm going to be trying a lot of different things. And yes, my views might go down. Yes, I might lose subscribers, but that's fine with me because 
I want to find what I really want to do. I want to get into a good routine, find out what works, what doesn't work. And then once I get that down, once I nail that down and find what I really want to do, I'll make a new channel, start from scratch, and we can go full steam ahead on all the changes that I've talked about in this video. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say to you guys. I want to hear your guys' opinion on this. Tell me what you guys think of these changes. Will you be subscribing to the new channel once I make that? Obviously, I don't expect everybody to transition over with me, but what do you guys think of these changes? And do you guys think it's a good idea? Would you guys like to see more gameplays thrown into the mix rather than just commentary videos every single fucking day? Because I understand that doing the same thing over and over again can get pretty boring so if I threw in some gameplays or some blackout or some stream highlights once in a while would you guys be okay with that I think it would be a good change for my channel I think switching things up from time to time will keep things fresh rather than letting things get stale because obviously cut commentaries every single day isn't going to do it it's not going to stay entertaining to you guys. I understand that you guys want to see different things from time to time. That's why people like my Q&A series so much. It's because it's something different. It's not a cut commentary. It's something a lot funnier and just way different to what I normally do. So I want to start doing that. I want to start uploading a plethora of different types of content. It would be gameplays and cut commentaries and Q&As and just a shit ton of stuff that I can revolve through every single week. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I had to say. I'm going to wrap this video up here. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smack the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with my content, please be sure to subscribe. I'll have my last video in the corner. If you haven't checked that out already, definitely make sure to check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.